Good afternoon. Well, this afternoon is going to be a bit of a marathon. Um, I had my first bowl of Cornell and Dill Star of the East Flake um, yesterday, um, courtesy of Mike Blocker. Mike, thanks again. Um, and um, it was very nice. A little bit more sort of barbecue kind of smokiness than the sweet sort of sweet latakia that I prefer, but a very nice blend. Um, I still I, I, I I've had questions already um, on on my IG page as to whether it is like Penzance. A lot of people have compared it to Penzance. Um, Mike also sent me GLPs is quite nice, which uh, is another one which people compare to Penzance. Um, and finally, I have some Penzance. Now, I just figured why not do a three-way. Um, a brief, not a review, but just a, a, a little comparison. Um, so I've brought three of my uh, favourite pipes, some of my favourite pipes out. Um, this is um, my reverse, sorry, not my reverse calabash, but my calabash from uh, Phil Rivara. Phil, I uh, saw your post on IG on, on Facebook this morning. I hope you're um, feeling a bit better. Um, anyway, good thoughts coming over your way. Um, but anyway, so this is um, Phil Rivara's Calabash, and I only smoke Penzance in this pipe. Um, it's a great pipe. Absolutely love the way it smokes. The minute I put it in my mouth, it just relaxes me. It's that kind of pipe. It really fits in with the whole ritual and tradition of pipe smoking. Um, it's a proper Calabash. Um, I've got a little pipe cleaner in there because um, it does the moisture ju does really come through there and gather at the bottom of the uh, stummel. Um, so I got to putting one of those in there and it just completely revolutionizes the smoke. It's completely dry. Um, there isn't a hint of gurgle. So that's my Penzance pipe. Um, this one is um, Star of the East. I smoked it with this pipe so I'm going to do the same again. And GLPs, I haven't even cracked a tin yet, so I'll give you an initial um, sort of idea of what it's like just by opening the tin. When I open the tin, and this is my Fabrizio Natalizia um, pipe, whoops, which um, was actually custom made um, to uh, a design which I had seen elsewhere. Um, Cumberland stem, I don't know if you can pick that up, just about, yeah, just about there, okay. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So the question is, which one to start with? So what I'm going to do is let's do the GLPs quite nice because I haven't had that one yet. So this um, looks like it's from 2014, but I can't be sure. Let's just read what it says here. Uh, rich, deep, contemplative. Ripe red Virginia's fine orientals, smoky Cypress Latakia, Cypress Latakia, and a pinch of Arcadian Arcadian Perique are pressed and matured in cakes before being sliced. The sophisticated flavours and exotic aroma provide a wonderful backdrop for quiet moments of reflection. A good book, and if you are so inclined, perhaps a wee dram. Well, it's early afternoon, so I'm not having any wee drams. In actual fact, I'm having a bit of boring old Diet Coke. I find Diet Coke is a good cleanser. I often have a um, drink uh, a coffee with my pipes, but I find um, that coffee, and especially the way I make it with chocolate and that, it just does make everything taste that much better, including a pipe and a cigar. So if, to get a little bit more of an honest uh, feel for the tobacco, I just thought I'd not do that. These cardboard ones. The the, the Cornell and Dill had the same thing. Well, this to me um, is extremely similar to the Star of the East. This is a real pain. I think I'm gonna put these into jars. Um, so I don't know if the lighting is gonna be any good, but. Just to make a comparison, 
So we've got the GLPs on the right, the uh, Quiet Knights, and the Star V's on the left. You know, to me, they look identical. In terms of a tin note, the GLPs is quite smoky. It's possibly even a little bit more of a barbecue smokiness than the uh, Star Beast. There's a bit of grass and hay. And there's a little bit of earthy depth to that as well. So that's the um, the Quiet Nights. The Star Beast, straight away, when you, you see yesterday I thought this was quite a bit smokier than perhaps the Penzance, but um, compared to the Quiet Nights it's, it's milder. I'm talking about tin notes here at the moment, not in terms of flavour. This has definitely got a, a smoother aroma to it and it's got a bit of a chocolatey aroma to it as well. This one is not as offensive is the wrong word because if you like it, you like if you like the latakia, then it's not offensive. But it it, it hasn't got that kind of pungency to it. Whereas this has got a bit more of a campfire pungency to it. Now, if I compare it to Penzance, The Penzance is so much more about the Virginias um, in terms of aroma. It's got that uh, smokiness to it, but it's a, it's it's kind of um, it, it's a sort of a milder kind of smokiness, which is a smoky kind of aroma mixed with almost like an almondy. It kind of it's like a softer, it's like a softer. I don't mean in strength, but in in the profile itself, the actual type of smell is a softer smokiness. It's like a sweeter smokiness, and it's grassy, and, the, and you can definitely smell the hay in there, the grassiness in there, the Virginias. And there's a little bit of earthiness in there as well. Um, so, let's, in terms of the, the texture, for me, the Penzance is still more. Um, for me, it's got a, uh, still got a nicer, softer texture. It's that you know what we talk about it having being steeped for lo a long time in its own kind of aromas, um, pressed in, in a way which you know it really melds into one, um, and then it kind of um, you know all the juices or whatever else that are, that's in there, it's kind of all melting, if you like, um, into one kind of blob and then that all falls apart so easily in your hands so the flakes here you know that they they've been cutting the flakes but as soon as you touch them they fall apart you can see a little bit of the, the crystals there um, the, the sugars forming um, which gives you an idea in, t in terms of the sweetness of these virginias The color, the color of this really reminds me almost of Samuel Goeth Brown Flake. I, I think it's called Brown Flake, or Best Brown. Um, it, it's the Virginias there don't seem to be as aged as the uh, Penzance. The, the, the Penzance is definitely darker and looks a little bit more. I don't want to use decomposed, but that's. It's kind of that's what I've been trying to say with this. It's almost like they're kind of starting to fall apart in the Penzance, and that age is definitely giving it an edge in terms of, you know, the attractiveness of the aroma. Um, the composition of this is so similar to the Quiet Nights. It's just it may be a fraction darker than the Quiet Nights, but really hard to tell the difference. A, a, a fraction, and that could even be to do with age. Well, this looks like it's from 2016, this um, East uh, Star of East. 
Okay, let's start um, getting some bowls loaded. Um, this Penzance was actually in a jar, but I've just, I, I do keep some of the tins. Um, mainly, if I want to give some of it away, it's nice to give it in a tin, um, even if I'm not even if I'm not giving a full tin. It's just I think it just makes it a little bit more special to get the original tin. Um, so the actual tobacco itself is not too humidified; it's not too bad. So we're just putting in a pinch into each one. So the quiet nights, it is a broken flake, so it is quite chunky, the bits. This is actually quite a good um, level of humidity, it's, it's almost perfect for smoking, there's no need to leave this out to dry. Right, so that's the quiet nights. And then we have the same kind of story with the Star of the East, it's a broken flake. I've got to say that although I've been comparing it to Penzance and saying that Penzance is more sort of a, more of a chocolate brownie kind of texture, these both of these are still really very, very good quality in terms of um, the texture as well, they've obviously been aged and the way they've um, made the actual tobacco, the blend, whether it's been uh, steamed or uh, whatever it is they do, whatever processes they've done with it, it's definitely broken it down as well so it's quite nice and soft and crumbly. Okay, so that's that, that's that, keep them all together so I know what's what. That's that, and that's that. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Quiet Nights, because I haven't had that yet. Well, on the first, just the first few draws, which is obviously not enough, but just on the first few draws, to me, this is more appealing than Star of the East. It's obviously very personal, but to me, my preference is definitely towards the sweeter side of things, um, and I did find that the Star of the East was a little bit more campfirey. Um, if you um, I'm just trying to remember the name of another blend which I've got upstairs, which I've tried and is also more on the kind of fiery side of things. Well, for me, so far, quite nice. It's very, very nice. I'm very impressed with it as a first impression. That's a bit of a revelation, actually. This is uh, my initial impression. I'm not comparing it even to Penzance. Just my initial impression is that this is like a refined, a, a more refined Northwoods because it's quite sweet. Um, we'll go over to the Canel and Deal Star of the East. There's a bit of fruitiness coming in. I'm just now coming, getting in my mouth. It's like a finish on my tongue. 
Yeah, hold on, let me just carry on with that. This is really nice. And this one is really giving you a nice, sweet and sour, musty, um, sweet um, smokiness. And I'm really, really enjoying that. Running beneath that is the, the Virginias, the grassiness, which is coming through. That's lovely. All right, I'm just gonna have a quick blast of a drink. away a little bit at least. Okay, so this is Star of the East. Excuse me. Excuse me, my stomach is rumbling. Again, very initial impressions. There's quite a difference, although, you know, they're all sort of English style blends. Um, they're all going to have similarities, but for me, this one lacks so much compared to the com the Quiet Nights. It, it's for me, it's a very different flavour within the whole envelope of English blends, of course. first impression I get is that it doesn't fill your palate as much as that one does. This, the, the breadth of that flavour profile, it, it fills your mouth, it fills your senses. Besides for the actual flavour itself, but just the breadth of it is broader than, uh, for me anyway, the Star of the East. The Star of the East for me is, is quite a quite a bit thinner in terms of the flavour profile. So this is as I thought, a little bit more campfirey, a little bit more bitter. Um, uh, there is a bitterness which comes through which I didn't get at all on the Quiet Nights. The Quiet Nights was certainly a sweeter uh, experience with that fruitiness coming through as well. The mustiness and a little bit of sweetness does come through, but it's a little bit on the, um, as I said, the campfire side, a little bit of bitterness coming through there. I'm not really getting that um, see when when you have the combina the, the flavors all coming together of the, of the bulk and blends, you get this sweet sour flavor, which is just a really nice musty kind of sweetness, and that comes through with that straight away. It comes through with Penzance. It comes through with Special Attica Flake. It comes through with uh, Northwoods. It's there with the style of the East as well, but it's just. It lacks the refinement and it lacks the smoothness um, that Quiet Nights has. Quiet Nights is, is really quite smooth based on obviously the, the initial impressions. It's It's got a certain rounded smoothness to it. It all kind of balances and works together as a, as a whole. Whereas this is, for me, again, it's really based on very little experience with it. Um, it's uh, from a half a bowl yesterday and, and a few sort of draws today.
there's a certain gritty edge to it, not 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 in texture but in the flavour. There's a roughness to it. There's a harshness to it. In the quiet nights, those edges are definitely smoothed off. So that's Star of these Flick. I, I definitely have to get more familiar with it. I've got to spend more time with it. And the question, uh, as I say, with both of those blends. Sorry, we've really put that in, haven't we? Okay, two open sets. Should have let it sit a little bit. I might have overheated it there. Actually, I'll just have a drink. Forgive the uh, quiet spaces, but I really was determined to make this one recording rather than have to edit it and spend hours on it. Okay, it presents I've smoked enough to be able to make comment on it. The Penzance does that smoky mustiness so well, um, but it is definitely more Virginia Ford than either of those two blends. But the smoothness of the Penzance it's just legendary, if you ask me. You get a bit of fruitiness coming through in there as well. And that combination of the Virginias with the smokiness does present some somewhat of a uh, an armady kind of flavour, which I do get sometimes on the really good Bolton blends. Okay. Okay. Just to give it a, a brief summary, the Penzance um, is even smoother and mellower than the Quiet Nights, and therefore you also don't get as full of a palate in your mouth of flavours as you do with the Quiet Nights. I'm just going to go back to the Quiet Nights and make sure that it wasn't just a honeymoon period. Yeah, there definitely is the additional strength in there, fullness of flavour. Um, going back to the Star of the East.
I would still stick with what I said. That's definitely got a harsher edge to it, um, and not as much sweetness. And um, this uh, quite nice. It's smooth, but it's full. It's sweet. It's smoky. It's musty. Um, it's very nice. Moving over to the Penzance, it's it's got those plus that additional hit of Virginia grassiness to it. It's very smooth and quite mild compared to that in terms of the fullness of the flavour. Not I'm not talking about strength here. Um, just in terms of the fullness of the flavour, for me, in making this as an initial impression, it, this video is really about just making a, a, a sort of a, an ad hoc comparison. I can't give you an in-depth impression of either Quiet Night or Star of the East Flake. But based on my experience here today, um, I am super, super impressed with the Quiet Nights. Um, I wasn't so hot on the Cornell deal yesterday when I tried it for the first time. I didn't do a first impressions uh, video. I might still do that. Um, it won't be a very first impressions, but it'll be a two or three bowls in impressions. Um, they're quite nice. I'm really quite excited to get through this uh, tin and, and see what it's like um, over a bit of a longer period. And the Penzance, we know. Um, Penzance, I find that the Virginia sort of forwardness of it, uh, for me, um, makes it more of an occasional smoke. A very lovely, fantastic occasional smoke, but um, it, it's a more, as I say, a Virginia forward flavour. At the moment, this uh, Quiet Night seems to, have, seems to have everything going for it. It's a much rounder, smoother flavour nice fruity sweetness in there and I'm going to just smoke it more just to confirm my uh, impressions of it so I hope that's been of uh, help and that's been entertaining somewhat um, I thank you for watching once again and Mike thank you very much once again for these two plus the other little ones um, and I will be in touch catch you on the next one